Hi, second graders, Miss Shannon here. We are just going to do a quick update with our mealworms. So uh, we are going to fill in our observation chart for today, Friday. So you will need your science packet that has a green cover on it. And I'm also going to review how to clean out your vial or your mealworm habitat if you need. So take a look at these two pictures. I have a question up there. It says, when do I clean out my mealworm habitat? So um, this is a picture that I took um, straight down, looking straight down into a vial. Um, you can see on the left that uh, the bran flakes are dry. I can see right there where my pointer is, that is um, some dried out exoskeleton from a molted, the molted mealworm. And then right there is my mealworm. And so that environment looks pretty dry and good. Uh, the, this is the sweet potato. Uh, it's, uh, I haven't changed it out yet since we've got them. So I will probably take out that sweet potato and replace it with another tiny piece. But the bran flakes good, look good. I don't need to, to empty out the bran flakes and throw them away and put all new ones in because that one looks good. Now take a look at the one on the right side. You can see there that the sweet potato um, was a little bit more damp or wet than the sweet potato on the left. And so it has developed mold. Uh, you can also see that the bran has kind of turned like a greenish black. And so this is a habitat that needs to be cleaned. Uh, the way you would do that is you would pop off the vial top. This is actually a picture of that exact um, mealworm habitat. And I would, if you want your parents' help or your parents want to help you to make sure you're not making a mess, uh, you can just carefully um, uh, dump the contents out onto a paper towel, a napkin. If you want to use a plate or a paper plate, um, you can do that. Um, and separate the mealworm while you dump out the old brand. Put in new brand. Remember, we want the brand to be at least an inch deep. Um, and then if you want, you can add either another tiny piece of sweet potato or carrot or um, regular potato so that your mealworm has some fresh bran to um, live in. So I need to clean this one out too. So I will be doing that this morning. So you can take a look at both of those pictures. The left side looks good. The right side needs cleaning. And you're going to want to do this about once a week. Uh, and again, you don't always have to dump out all of the bran. If the bran looks good, you can always just add some more to make it a little bit fresher. Um, but again, trying to utilize and um, not overusing the bran from the Ziploc bag that I sent home. Here are some things to remember. Um, I've gotten a couple questions, so I just want to go over them with everyone. First, remember that mealworms like very dry environments. So make sure there is no extra water in the vial because that is what makes the brand turn moldy and they like to survive in dry environments. You can give them a tiny piece of sweet potato, potato or carrot once a week, but make sure that it's not too wet when you put it in, like um, it shouldn't be dripping wet. And remember that the bran flakes are actually their food source, not the sweet potato. Um, they use the sweet potato to kind of glow, um, like stick onto and suck the, any water or moisture out of it. So the sweet potato is actually their, their water source, but they do not require a lot of it. Um, and so that's why I ask you not to like, um, uh, don't wet down the sweet potato necessarily before you put it in the vial. And you can clean out the molted exoskeleton. So as you're cleaning out the brand, if you want to take out the old exoskeletons, you can. Uh, maybe there's more than one in there. So you can see that maybe your mealworm has molted more than once. Um, but these are just some um, things to remember as you are caring for your mealworm and watching it grow. So now um, I want you to take out your science notebook and you are going to do an observation. Now, today is different. In the previous days, I've asked you a question that you had to answer on this page. Today, I just want you to look at your mealworm. Observe, what are they doing? You know, if you, if you turn your vial around in circles, does your mealworm start to move? What are you observing and seeing your mealworm doing? Maybe you could tell me how many times it's molted or what color it is. Okay, so you can choose this time what you want to observe and share with me. 
if your camera isn't working, you can record your observations on the final page.